I was thinking Himalayas today, mountains, and tall buildings, towers, as I saw the Burj Khalifa. So, vertically opposite angles are equal. And if this is 60 degree and these are straight lines, 60 degree too. And the surface of the ground and perpendicular drawn perpendicular is 90 degree yeah perpendicular from the ground to the say the peak yeah that's probably how oversimplified height of a mountain is so the mount everest is about say uh, eight nine kilometers and a wild goose can scale that in eight hours but instead of going on a wild goose chase let us discuss say 895 17 is 22 when you add 8 and 9 and 5 and 895 meters in kilometers is 895 divided by 1000 which is the decimal point here going left three ways i just had coffee one two three so that's 0 0.895 kilometers almost a kilometer high the tallest star in the world but what's even more amazing for me the sky is above yeah so to escape the gravity of the earth an object would have to move 11.2 kilometers per second. Kilometers per second. That's escape velocity. And uh, orbital velocity is between 7.9 .9 kilometers per second and 11.2 kilometers per second. Where every difference in speed would result in a different orbit. And uh, there are different details of uh, different types of ideas, but let's stick to escape velocity as 11.2 kilometers per second. And the orbital velocity that we discussed is 7.9 so I like 7 and 9 but 8 just feels better yeah? 8 just the smell of an infinity rotated 90 degree so think of infinity this is probably the infinity sign because you start here and go like this and then like this and then never stop yeah so that's infinity yeah <laughs> so you have y-axis x-axis and then you rotate this shape 90 degree clockwise clockwise 90 degree and you get an 8, yeah? 8. This is smell of it. It's so beautiful. So 8 to the power 8, okay, would be in terms of 2, because 8 is 2 to the power 3. So we have 2 to the power 3, to the power 8, and you multiply the exponents with 2 to the power 24, which is the same as 8 to the power 8. 2 to the power 20 and interestingly 
2 plus 2 plus 4 is 8. Ah, so beautiful. Check out the 8. Now, we have 4 8s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 8s. 4 8s. Which is 32. And I like 32, yeah? 32. So, 32 and 3s to 2. 3s to 2 is the ratio of frequencies for the perfect fifth. Yeah, perfect fifth, which is part of the musical circle of the fifth. Circle of the fifth, seven, seven details, musical, beautiful. Frequency, yeah. So, an octave is a ratio of frequencies in the ratio of 2 is to 1. Like, say you have 880 hertz and 440 hertz. Hertz is frequency, cycles per second related to wavelength, wave length, and speed. So, Frequencies in the ratio 2 is to 1 are octaves and the wonderful, perfect, fifth, hallelujah, 3 is to 2, yeah. So, the musical circle of the fifth has a ratio of frequencies in this ratio of some sort which uh, I was discussing with a student yesterday on Numbers and Music Theory, Creative Math. But in this free flow, details are not slow or fast. Some way or the other, tangents through 3 plus 2 is 5, 2. But I like 5 better. 5, 5. The irrational number. 5. Not like this. Yeah. This representation just goes 1.618 forever. Zero. Yeah, let the numbers be. And uh, please go wherever from here allowed tangentially. <laughs>